talking about sexual violence in the classroom is really tough. Talking about sexual violence at all is really difficult, but that doesn't mean we should shy away from having the conversation. In my years and years of doing this work, traveling the country, talking to all kinds of different people about sexual violence, I've learned that creating the right environment is key to making the conversation go well. So here are some do's and don'ts that I've learned over the years in terms of really setting the tone and creating a context in which people are gonna be honest and open to learning. Don't ever allow victim blaming to go unchallenged. Even if you're trying to wrap up the discussion and some comment is kind of lingering in the air, it's really important to shut it down and remind people that it's never the victim's fault. Don't focus solely on the law. Yes, sexual assault is a legal term, but it's a moral issue. And when we talk about the law says, and this is how the law defines this, what happens is we basically create a box and we tell abusers, as long as you stay within this tiny box, you're doing things that I might not agree with, but are not technically illegal. We really need to move away from just teaching people definitions of the bad things and instead move towards what we want people to do instead. Don't act like everything is up for debate all the time. There are things that we have settled. There are things that expert can tell us inside out and backwards. So again, it's important for people to feel honest and to be able to you know, express themselves and maybe challenge. But this idea that I don't know if violence is really actually happening or these statistics don't seem real, that's not a debate. We have established that these things are actually happening in our communities. Lastly, don't just focus on stories that end in suicide. Often those are the stories that make the news or that we see come up in pop culture. And we, I get why people wanna talk about them. And so if it comes up organically where people are referencing a specific case, for example, I think it's okay to talk about. I mean, these are real things that happen. But the problem on only focusing on those types of stories is that it subtly sends a message to the survivors in the room that they're not gonna get justice unless they harm themselves. And that's a really damaging message to put out into the world. And so it's important for us to drive home that there are plenty of examples of survivors who spoke out who did not harm themselves and we should talk about those as much. And really just to make sure that survivors feel safe in the room and recognizing that this is not an inevitability um, and that they can absolutely get justice while they're still here. But do create a space for uncomfortable conversation. It's tough, it's hard. I do this for a living and I still find it really difficult. So it's okay that people feel uncomfortable because it is a heavy topic. The challenge is a lot of assumptions and things that they were raised to believe. Do focus on practical tools. Giving people statistics doesn't actually give them a tool to make a difference. So have the conversation in as practical of a way as possible. Someone sends you this, what are you gonna do about it? Someone says this at a party, how are you gonna respond? Be really, really, really practical. Do talk about it as an issue of ethics and morals. Sexual violence is not bad because it's illegal, it's bad because it harms human beings. And that's the way in which we should be thinking about it. It's a moral issue. And then lastly, recognize that it is a difficult conversation, so have support systems in place. Make sure that you contact your social workers at your school or maybe your local sexual assault center to bring in a care worker to be able to handle disclosures and having someone tell their story for the first time. Make sure that there's someone there to listen who knows what they're doing. If you put all of these things in place, that's an excellent starting point. But I also encourage you to have frank discussions in the classroom. What's gonna make us feel safe? How are we gonna be able to be honest and not feel like we're being judged for the things that we're saying? Having that open and honest conversation about what are the ground rules? How are we gonna talk about this? Is a really great way to start this difficult but necessary conversation.